This tutorial will give you the overview of the first tab that is general tab and the first option is cover is templates option giving you the various pre-designed templates of the template toaster. And through the more templates option you can go to the more number of templates. Here is the more option. You may prefer to modify these pre-designed -de templates. Suppose I am choosing this one. Next option is the color schemes option and here are the various inbuilt color schemes. The user may make his own theme to the customize option. Here you need to mention your primary color secondary color and similarly your success info warning and danger color here i am naming my scheme as my scheme and save the saved scheme is now under the user scheme as you can see and it may be used for the future design coming to the layout option you have the option of none you would be having only content or single item, header, menu or footer, combination of two, header, menu, header, footer, menu, header, menu, footer and menu inside header, combination of three, menu, header, footer, header, menu, footer and menu inside header, footer. Next is your sidebar options, either you have no sidebar, single sidebar or double sidebar. Next is the template type. You can switch from one template type to another just on a single click like from Zoomla to WordPress then to Blogger then PrestaShop, Magento, HTML and Drupal. Next option is to add or edit a page template. Here you need to name your page template that you would like to add to your WordPress theme. Just like I am naming here page template you need to give your title also and click on add this page template is added to your theme and you may modify and delete the page templates from your theme these are the options suppose I am deleting the page template one it would ask you whether you are sure or not. Next is your editors and first is CSS editor in which you can write your own custom style. It is easy for you to write here with the help of code hinting and if you want to access all the classes of template toaster like .ptr for the prefix that you have set in your file preference. Similarly for ID you need to write hash TTR and if you want to override the style of your bootstrap suppose if you want to give custom style to your button write dot btn. You want to save? No. Next is your JavaScript editor providing you a good IDE for code editing and code hinting and you may write your custom javascripts here that will go to the head section of your theme. Suppose if you want to add Google Analytics to your website simply paste the code here. And save. Next is your type will be option and first is to change the textiles of text, textiles of headings and textile of individual elements of your whole document. First we will discuss about the text typography and this is the system font option you can choose in front from here and in google font option. Suppose you are choosing open sans from here. Just mention the phone name and OK. 
this is your google phone or you may browse your own custom phone from here this is the custom phone added and the priority is in the order of google phone then custom phone then system phone phone style can be normal bold italic or bold italic or the phone size can be mentioned from here phone color of the text you can pick alignment can be center justify left or right margin option underline style side views you may add a shadow to effect that this is the color option or for your shadow blurness can be set from here angle and distance according to your requirement and simply apply Next is your headings typography. Similar UI for the headings tab also. System font, Google font, then custom font. Font style can be normal, bold, italic, bold, italic. Color for your heading. Underline style, strike, to style and apply. Next is complete typography for the individual elements. We are going to discuss about The label from here these are our labels I'll go to the complete option choose label hover from here and here I'm changing the color of the label on hover and apply you can just see the change This is your complete option and next is your favicon. Here are the various icons in the gallery. Go to the more option. You can browse your own icon. Just like I am choosing this one. Do you want to add this in your gallery or not? I will say yes. And the icon is added to your gallery. Next preview. This is your favicon. Next is the bookmark option. Here I am bookmarking my template for the later use with the name My Theme. And done. Just click to see the saved bookmark. This is the desktop view. And to see it in the tablet, you just have to click over here and our tablet view. And next, I'm going to show you the mobile view. You can modify the settings according to the mobile view. And the changes made here are limited to mobile only. Going back to desktop. Hopefully this overview covered enough to help you get started and explore on your own. Thank you.